Hi, I'm Alicia Heron from AOPA. We're here today at Fly Truckee Tahoe. When you look at a seaplane, there's some really obvious differences, but there's some you might not know about. So we're gonna take a look at this float plane behind me and see what makes it different than just a normal uh, cub or tail dragger or just a normal land plane. So come with us and take a look. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. So we're here with Kevin Sloan from Fly Trucky Tahoe and his uh, beautiful SQ2 on PK oh, Floats. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a beautiful plane. We just had a great time flying it around over the last couple days. And can you tell us just a little bit about what's different about this plane from you know a normal SQ2 on wheels? Okay, well, it does have floats. That's kind of the obvious. The of big all of obvious it. thing, but yeah. It's on wheels. I probably have a little different prop. This has got a climb propeller on it, mm -hmm. which just kind of has a little different blade angle that why, helps it Why pull. is that more important It gives you a little more water. pull, uh, a little less speed in cruise, mm -hmm. a little more pull off the water. Right, okay, because that's a, a ton of, that's more drag to overcome than, yeah. than, on, uh, than yeah. on land, yeah. right? And then you've got a wire that connects the two floats. If you're sitting on the water at a dock, say you're parallel to a dock, uh, and you want to do a thorough pre-flight, which mm -hmm. you should, or mm -hmm. your door's on the other side, you can walk across the wire. Nice. Um, make sure that the bags aren't hot or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, and these are these are amphibs. These are amphibs, so the gear is retractable. Uh, you could take off off pavement or unimproved strips, but you want to make sure it's good, good firm right. ground. And then they retract so you can land on the water. Right, perfect. And have a great day on the water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this particular one has leading edge slats which okay. you're not going to find on most float planes, but this one's got them to overcome a little bit of the density altitude that we have here right. and allow us to fly at a slower speed, mm -hmm. uh, a lower stall speed, and again, get off the water or the pavement quicker. Right. Shorter right. ground rolls. You could work your way back. You've got water rudders. Cool. So That's a big difference. Yeah. You don't have those on. And you can see they move with the air rudder, but if they did jam or something like that, they're cabled to the mm -hmm. same pedal but mm -hmm. they split off and they're independent once they get to a certain point under the airframe. That way you, they could run independently if you need to. Right. Um, and that just helps to maneuver through tight sections right. on the water. So when we're flying, these are up. up. Yeah, yep. down for idle taxi and really just idle taxi only. Right, because obviously we don't have, when we're on the water, we're maneuvering like, yeah. a, like a boat. Yeah, Not, well, we are a boat. We we're are under a boat. Coast Guard regulations. Right, right. So we call it like, you know, maybe a vessel. A vessel. That's yes. what the Coast Guard the calls it. Yeah. A ship. <laughs> Typically on float planes, you're going to find some ropes mm -hmm. for docking, beaching, buoying, things like that. Yeah. You'll find wing ropes as well mm -hmm. to help you, as you saw yesterday, so you don't have to walk all the way out in the water. Yes. Help you swing the airplane around yes. or the ship on the water, actually. Right. What about these things? Those are drain plugs. So these are designed to take on some water. Otherwise, with temperature fluctuations, they'll crack. Right. So all, all floats take on some water, Yeah. Right? Well, Yeah, well, they should. Okay. Otherwise, they're going to eventually crack in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to expand and contract a little bit. Right. So you pop the drain plugs off, and that's how you would pump them out. Cool. Yeah. These are a really uh, tight set of floats. These are PK2250s. Uh, they're really designed well to work with the swell that we have in Tahoe. Mm -hmm. And you just saw what yes. we could have. Yeah, no yeah, wind, that's... but glassy swell. Yeah. Uh, so There's it works. a lot more movement than I've experienced in my yeah. limited float yeah. flying. Yeah. Um, other than that, the SQ2 is a real big wing, 40 feet tip to tip, mm -hmm. which uh, again, reduces stall speed, gives you a lot of lift. Yeah. It's amazing how slow this airplane will fly. They asked me on my check right at the very end what the top of the float is called. The deck. The deck. Just yeah. like a boat. Yeah. It is a boat. It is a boat. It's on the water. It is a boat. You've got different sections of the float. These are all struts, mm -hmm. front strut, aft strut, diagonal strut, mm -hmm. step yeah. to step up on. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> it is, it does have like more, there is reinforcement here because of the... Uh, if you can imagine the amount of vibration you can get on right. the water, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of reinforcement. These mm -hmm. are spreader bars and tension rods or tension wire, some people call them. Mm -hmm. And they can adjust to make sure that everything is uh, symmetrical. Well, we had fun flying it. We did, we had a great time flying it. We had a wonderful time and it's, it's super fun and it's, you know, the differences that make it extra fun to learn. And it's definitely a part of flying that I think it's on most pilots bucket lists and is definitely worth uh, worthwhile to come out and go fly and, and learn about the, the float life in Lake Tahoe. So we had a great time and it's thanks a, for taking us through the differences of, of this float plane. It's a beautiful place to do it. It is. Thanks it is. for coming. Yeah, absolutely.